Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is August 18th. Uh, we've got markets kind of back and forth, and we could see this happen uh, all day. Um, we've got a lot of things that are coming up, but the, one of the biggest things is that today starts our 25th annual yield survey. So we've done a very good job in the past only because of your help out there. Uh, if you're a producer, get online uh, and uh, and take the, the yield survey. Let us know how things look in your area. You know, we, we touch a lot of different areas here that are going to give us the best possible yields uh, and, and, a, and a better guess uh, for this upcoming report. So um, we need your help once again this year. be greatly appreciated. But on the other hand, we've got Pro Farmer out there. Their Pro Farmer tour starts today. Social media is going to be blowing up with this. News wires are going to be talking about it uh, from just people coming in the, uh, into the different fields and giving us yields in different areas. So expect volatility from that. And, uh, and that's going to be a, a, big, a big thing to watch today. But on Twitter already this morning, a lot of guys talking about that. Uh, as far as weather watch today, one to five day forecast still has good rains uh, to the north. Uh, the six to ten, moderate rains across the entire Corn Belt, and the 11 to 16 day with decent rains uh, across the Corn Belt as well. The thing you got to take from that is that we are getting rain. It's August, so things to pay attention there. I mean, beans end up uh, could end up seeing another sharp move down uh, if we are going to continue to get these rains. I know if we can get enough rain to finish out that crop, but right now, corn's up two and a quarter, beans are down a half a cent, wheat's down six and a quarter. Now, wheat being down, we had a, a good rally last week um, from the, this Ukraine and Russia uh, news. We're going to need to watch that again. This morning, things are quiet. So when we aren't talking about any kind of disturbance over there, it seems like the wheat market ends up breaking. But as soon as something hits, we get a decent bounce from wheat. So we've got to really keep our eyes uh, and, and ears peeled uh, and tuned into that. And any kind of uh, any kind of disturbance there, once again, probably will find another bit of short covering for wheat as well. But we are setting back a little today, as I mentioned, down six and a quarter cents, and we'll see what happens with that. As far as livestock, uh, cattle probably going to start off steady, maybe even a little lower. Uh, box beef though coming in lower. Choice down 120. Select down 19. Putting packer break evens to finish the week at 160 even. So most of the trade uh, finishing out there at 155. So disappointing trade last week as well. Could see this. Uh, could see the cattle start off uh, a little lower. But we've got to watch the show list numbers that are going to be coming out uh, pretty much as the markets close today. But uh, a lot of eyes are going to be on Nebraska. What kind of numbers we're going to see out of Nebraska? We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of uh, big numbers uh, in that show in the show list, Nebraska show list. So um, we're going to be watching that pretty heavy here today. As far as hogs, uh, we did have cutout value sharply lower, down 439 on Friday. Pretty weak. Probably going to see a little bit of a setback there for hogs yet. Uh, just trying to uh, trying to kind of balance out that. So. Uh, more disappointing news out of the hogs, and uh, we'll see how we start today, but probably a little bit lower. As far as outside markets, stock market up 89 points right now. Gold down 8 bucks. Silver is up just a penny, and the dollar's up 7 So uh, give us a call if you guys have any questions whatsoever. Uh, get online. Take our, our yield survey. Let us know what your crop looks like out there. We'd greatly appreciate that. You can reach us here at 800 262 7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.